Holiday to all of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thursday. Yeah, happy Manny Gorbis, Tito Romero, everyone. Been here three times. <laughs> <laughs> May you be a true, humble, and powerful leader. And I want to thank you again on behalf of all of us. I just want to share a word or two about this holiday, which is actually a universal one. It was actually a uh, court. It was a court battle about public menorah lightings. Some argued that it would be the separation of church and state, so you can't have them in public areas. So the court. There was a debate about it, and the court ruled that it uh, belongs in the public sphere because it's not particularly a religious symbol, it's actually a symbol of American freedom in general. I want to share a few words about that. I think it's a good, uh, be, the two guys went camping and uh, opening up with a little joke. Two guys went camping, middle of the night, one of them hears the other guy, hears outside the, the tent, they hear a bear rummaging around, a bear. So he wakes up his friend and says, we got to get out of here, there's a bear out there. And he sees, his friend who's waking up, sees his, his, uh, his colleague tying his sneakers. He says, you think you can outrun the bear? He says, no, all I have to do is outrun you. <laughs> you know? This is called survival of the fittest. Dog eats dog. We're right now in a, in a sacred space. NYPD, PD, the people who uh, sacrifice their own lives in direct contrast, instead of running to save themselves, they're ready to put themselves in danger to protect other people. This is considered the most sacred thing one human being can do, is to put themselves in a line of fire. You should never need to do so, but you're ready to do so, to protect innocent lives. And I just have to say, I'm also humbled, and I just want to give you my personal uh, congratulations. <laughs> a tremendous lesson that we have from these flames that we just burned, that we just lit, rather. And that is why the, in, the, in the court of law, public menorahs were held up. That's why you have all over the place is menorah lightings, was because the symbol of this is, of this holiday, is not just religious freedom. It's not just a Jewish holiday. It's the holiday that represents religious freedom for all, whether one is Christian or Muslim or Jewish or no religion at all, the freedom to be able to exercise and express themselves freely. That's number one. Number two, is the, it's the, it symbolizes the victory. You know what's beautiful about a light? very subtle, it's very small and quiet, but a little light dispels darkness. As probably you all know, and I should definitely remind you, that the greatest way to fight darkness is to shine light. There are times where you have to bear weapons and you have to go out there and do what has to be done because there are people that need, that need to be disciplined and need to, uh, to protect innocent citizens. But the truth is, the greatest type of protection is, is um, we call it um, preventive medicine, that by symbol and by uh, role model, you all of you, when people see you and they see what it means to be a person who protects other lives, they see light. What you're doing is really spreading light. And hopefully your light dispels darkness before the darkness even has any way to act. And I think that's a tremendous lesson to understand. You see the, the flame that to empower someone. When you're ready to help someone grow, then you become a towering light, higher than all others. So you can reach great heights with self-actualization, but you can only, only reach the greatest heights when you serve others. And you are servants, public servants. And I think that today is a great day to honor that and honor your service. May God protect you all and uh, serve us well in being true illuminating lights, role models of what it means light dispelling darkness. And you should never have to even use your arms because as soon as people see it, that alone will be a deterrent. May you lead well with God's blessing. Again, you're public servants, you're God's servants, and you protect us all, and we're proud of you, and I hope we make you proud as well. And we're partners in this, and any way we can help you, please recognize that we're partners. We're not, we're not just bystanders. Any way we are here to support you in your sacred and holy and illuminating works. So everyone have a very happy holiday. That's Hanukkah or the other holidays in this season. And you'll see there's a very, uh, very healthy food here for you. And they'll tell you more about that. It's an honor to share a few words. And may you be blessed again. Be protected as you protect us. Everyone have a very illuminating holiday. And God bless you all.